This is a fun one. Use enemies' weapons. When you have taken a gun or wrench out of a random thug's hands, they will say something like, Hey, give that back. After they have said this, run over to the weapon. Spider-Man should pick it up. This does not happen often, but when it does, press square to hit or shoot the enemy with it. The weapon will disappear after that mission. So there's a few things. There's one thing in particular that I want to focus your attention on. And that's the last word. Mission. Which means that this has to be done during a mission. And green dots count as missions. So we're going to wait for a green dot where we can fight an enemy. And we'll try it out. I'm sure this one's real. Come on. Permit wasn't real. That We're owed. We're owed. To be fair, there is one instance where this is true. No matter what, you can do this against Rhino with his tube. You can throw the tube back at him. A gunfight? We're gonna get Spider-Man with the with the Mac 11. All right. So first of all, give me that. Oh, where did it go? All right. So they seem to just disappear right after. None of these have any guns. That didn't work, but they said it didn't happen often. So let's try it a few times. All right, carjacker, they're bound to have some weapons on them. Yeah, this one is just somebody who want, who really wanted to play GTA but didn't own it, I think. Why <laughs> waste time? We're not wasting time. This is called the scientific process. <laughs> you, you have a hypothesis and then you test it. All right, give me... You don't have a weapon, you're useless. You have a weapon, I'll take that. Nothing. Give me the gun. Ah. That's not happening, guys. He's got a wrench. We'll try it one more time. Yeah. I think, uh... I think... Wait, there's a gun. We're gonna try the gun. But if this doesn't work, I'm going to call this one busted. Why did they pull out the wrenches first? They have guns. Uh, oh, he's got an SMG. This way we can try it with all the damage types. But, but not you. All right, give me the... Wait, didn't I web all you? Give me the wrench. No, give me... All right, goodbye. Give me the gun. No gun. Yeah, uh, that's busted. I'm sorry. As fun as it would have been, I think we all, we all saw where this one was going. That's another one in the busted tray. Okay, there's one that we were waiting for, right? We were waiting for the right time of day, and that's the Garment District one. But I, I think that was the last one that I had prepared. All right, here's Garment District. So what we are looking for, we have you know, five hours to kill in-game, and we are looking for a costume store, which we always presumed it was just this store over here, but maybe it's not. Let's see, is this a costume store? Do they do they really mean this store? I can see arguments for and against because right these are these are shirts. Maybe that's a costume, but what if they don't even mean this store? What if there's like some other costume shop that we're just ignoring? Like, see, look at this. Vote? Is that a word? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, what does Google think about this? Vogish? Popular or in fashion at, at a it's a word. It just means in fashion. Gotcha What does this billboard say delicious hot dogs yummy? I just kind of want to comb the area while we have the time We'll definitely you know periodically check the time in the map that I just realized that Nate just told me existed and I'm still 
kind of in disbelief at. But, you know, let's just check the ground level. It's, you know, this is a wine diner. Gotcha. That person was just running on the car. Very cool. I'm not seeing anything that could be misconstrued as a comic shop. Hang on, there's a shop up here. Is this... This is... Okay, this is a comic store. This couldn't possibly be the costume shop, right? But this is also in Garment District, isn't it? Hang on. It's really close to Lower Rest Side, but I didn't see it pop up, so I think this still counts. But I don't see how this could possibly be a costume store. The other one plausibly could be. Not here. Okay, so it's some. So this is Garment District. So I, I think we can rule out the, that other shop. What did it say here? Videos. Remember video stores? The good old days. I'm not even. I'm not seeing like a green building that this could possibly be. All right, just half an hour. I should probably go back to the shop since we've pretty much confirmed that there's no other place it could possibly be but the shop, right? So it is now 10 a.m. So let's see. I try this myth yet where we tried it before and we weren't sure. But so now is like we're trying it for real and I'm not seeing any like indication of how to change costumes. Uh, I guess I'll check. I don't see any options for costumes in here. I think this one's busted. I think this one might be busted. I just swing around just in case there's some shop that's randomly open now. I'm not seeing anything. All right, fellas. So that is what ten busted. Well, sequel time already, huh? Welcome back, I guess. I All right. You miss me more than I miss Here's your chance. Uh, if you have any other myths that you want to send me to, we have officially gone through all of them. So, if you have anything else you want me to try? Otherwise, I think I'll try the whole like. Mysterio robots don't give you hero points thing, which might take a while. Freak, we didn't try freak mode. Where is that? Where's freak mode? Freak mode was like the one that was, you know, it was never supposed to be taken seriously, but we could try it. The portrait of Mao is a dumb. Okay, where is the portrait? We need, we need, we need something to go off on here. We can't just like look through the whole game. I know it exists. It's in Chinatown. So in the second chapter, you have to meet Mary Jane. I assume that they mean the Mary Jane date, right? Yeah, this this myth, you, you like need something to deal with it. Because this is the dumbest fucking thing. I actually forgot that I left this in. Near Shocker Warehouse? Okay. We'll visit and we'll look for... We'll look for our good friend Mao. Oh, here's proof. I think Nate was asking about this. That uh, in this portion, you're not actually paused. You're just in the most slow-mo state of all time. I don't know if you can see it all, but I'm moving ever so slightly. And there, I started an air trick and it actually started. And you can see he's moving just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at his right foot. So, in theory, you could just, like, keep playing if you had the, the most patience of all time. He's going. But, yeah, who has time for that? Like, I, I did not, e I, I'm not even, this, this is not a myth. I just want to make that straight up. This is just something dumb. So, let's see. You have to meet Mary Jane. Once the scene ends, start webbing yourself right to the shop where you buy all your upgrades. Hey, 
Mary Jane will be there and she'll say, Pete, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, Harry. Hey, MJ. So we just have to go to the shop. That's it. That's the whole myth. I did, of course. Okay, Harry, pay. Man, that cake was good. So what's the nearest shop, quote unquote? Better burn off some calories or I won't fit in my costume. It's that one. Granted, this is, you know, I know what you're going to say. This is meeting Harry and Air MJ, not meeting MJ, which comes after this. But I just want to, you know, be thorough. Just in case freak mode is real. This is the same shop. What is it with this shop? And being just involved in these weird myths. All right, so MJ is supposed to be here. I'm not seeing her. So there's a couple ideas, right? It says once the scene is over, but I, I do want to try, let's try it once before and once after interacting with the, the token here, because that's supposed to be the cutscene for meeting with MJ, but maybe it meant that you have to do it before. Because why would MJ, why would it work after? You've already met with MJ, why would you meet with her again, you know? So, uh, you're not MJ, you're not MJ. Okay, okay. So this is this is the no show. MJ's not here. So let's go and try it again after we've interacted with the token. All right, so we've met with MJ. Ran off like that. I must be out of my mind. All right, I'm down to uh to try that legend. Wait, hang on. If you go too far, it it doesn't work. It cancels the mission because you ran away. Is there? Can we even make it to that shop? What does this say? Carpets. I thought that said costumes for a second. And I was like, costume shop? It says webbing to the shop. I'm assuming they meant swinging. But the thing is, you can't even do that. It's too far away. It, it, it cancels. You fail the mission before you get there. There's no shop closer than that one, and you can't get there. Yeah. Don't worry, though. There's a workaround. This is why I've learned so much about this game. My brain is large enough to get around this. Here's what you do. You start the mission... And then there's this door, right? It closed behind you. It doesn't want you to get to freak mode. But we say, fuck you, door. We, I, I said we say, fuck you, door. And we clip out. And then you can go wherever the fuck you want. And we can, we can finally find MJ and activate freak mode. And she's not here. <laughs> There's, in, in fact, nobody's here. <laughs> busted. It's busted, fellas. The song is 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 an absolute banger, though. What was the other myth? H credit during cat chase. Right, 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 right. I'll do it. I'm down. So H. Crayer during the cat chase does something. H. Crayer. Alright, I've done it. What was supposed to happen? So this is normal behavior, right? Like, we're just in the... This is usually what happens. Usually it lets you finish out the mission. At the end, it gives you... Chapter 16 and chapter... I don't even know what that means. <laughs> chapter 16... It gives you hero points. That is true. Chapter 16... Oh, like both enemy types? In random missions? Is that what you mean? Like we'll find low-level enemies in random missions? Okay. Okay, so that's the myth. So we just got to finish this and it should 
It should, uh, it should work. H. Crayer, yeah, H. Crayer does work. H. Crayer is the only, like, actual cheat code in the game. So, let's see. If everything's acting normal, the mission should end. Who's with that girl? Who was she? And then, yeah, we're still in chapter 16. And if we enter a mission, we should get chapter 3 enemies. So we should get, like, the weak-ass enemies that you can just kill with no issue. That girl is pretty incredible. Too so let's, tr let's try it out. Bro, this is an early game enemy. I think it was Legend who suggested this. He's right. This is an early game enemy. This guy does not show up in the post game. At all. Ever. But no, seriously, this is confirmed. I, I didn't know that this is how that worked. Yeah, this guy's an early game guy too. Yeah, he can appear in hideouts, but... Never in just a random carjacking. And that guy also doesn't appear. That that guy's also an early game enemy. Mysterio robot robots don't give points outside a theater. And this one might take a little bit because we have to play through a bit of the game. But, you know, is it really that bad that we have to play through this game? It, it's a cool game. Yeah, okay, so we know that, we we know for a fact that when you get ambushed by the robots before a Dr. Connors class, they don't give hero points. We've seen that dozens of times. But we have, what we haven't tested is the random ambush missions. Or, you know, the, the random guys in the street get attacked by robots. Alright, so we're finally here. We gotta go to Chinatown and look for our friend Mao. And we gotta... Try to fight some robots to see if they give hero points. Problems? And now we just wait. Call the army. Martians are attacking people. First try again. <laughs> All right, here they are. Don't panic. I'll deal with it. We've been getting like god luck. All right, let's see. They do give hero points. I'm gonna call this one busted then, because that's that's kind of all there is to it, right? That's all there is to it. The only time they don't give hero points is when they ambush you in chapter 10. All right, final myth. I think, um, maybe there was one more? Mao Zedong. That's the whole myth. So now the question is, where in Chinatown do we find him? Maybe he's in uh, this green? Maybe he's in here? Not on the ceiling? It's not on the walls? See, I'm trying to see how big... Chinatown isn't that big. Try in here, maybe? Pawn shop? Oh, I, I love the pawn shops in this game. Look at this shit. They got, like, a ladder, and you could jump through to get to the second floor. This is, like, my favorite interior in the game. Look at this. They got like a cool second floor where you could buy CD racks. <laughs> they got guns. <laughs> you can just buy a fucking chainsaw. I'm not seeing Mao in here though. Unless I am sorely mistaken. What's this? That's a drum, excuse me. They got like some cool art here. That's kind of badass.
look up. They got this, like, fucking, <laughs> uh, dragon s swimming around. I've not seen Evil Dead, so I couldn't say. What does this say? We buy junk and sell antiques. Some fools buy, some fools sell. I saw it? Hmm? Am I missing something? Oh! There he is! Whoop! Everybody see that? For like two frames, he was... There was like some geo-mashing or some shit. Anybody see that? Am I the only one who saw that? Flickers into another. He like smiled at me. When I climbed on, he like smiled. Am I crazy? <laughs> Am I crazy, dude? He smiles. What? Why does he smile? That's so weird. This is creepy pasta. Look at his mouth. Bro, he totally smiles. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I... <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Please send the smile in the, in the Spider-Man Discord. Please drop it, Nate. That is so fucking wild. Confirmed. This is this should almost count for two confirms, right? I'm only gonna put it down as one, but holy shit. Confirmed. Is this a so my question mostly for Nate at this point is did 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 anybody else know about the part where he smiles at you? For a frame. Did anybody else know? Oh, that's cursed. That's so cursed. What the fuck? I think it's just like whenever you get close to him, he does that. Put that behind your splits. I don't want to. I really don't want to. So, okay, we know about this weird smiling Mao Zedong thing now. My question is, does anybody think that this happens anywhere else under any other circumstances? We've learned so much about the game today. Do you think this is the only weird easter egg thing they've put here that we didn't know about? This is tripping me out. This is a great great way to uh, I can't believe that this was real. Well, I, I believe that the Mao Zedong thing was real, but nobody said anything about this. Yeah, that, that Mao Zedong thing, I, I thought that it, okay, so here's here was my mindset. At first, cause I thought it was just like a texture misalignment thing, and then it kept happening, and I was like, what the fuck? And I, I just didn't, I didn't believe, I was legitimately questioning my sanity, so I, I was asking chat. I don't know. This is just wild. 